India is undergoing a battery breakthrough. Lithium ion batteries power everything from your phone to your EV. But they overheat, they catch fire, they cost a fortune to import and not exactly great for the planet. Ola building Bharat cell is old news. But now India might have just found its next big energy play and it's coming out of IIT Madras. Let's tell you what's happening. Researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, led by Professor Ranjit Bari from the Department of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering, are developing zinc air batteries, a much safer, cheaper, and more sustainable alternative to lithium ion batteries. This tech can soon power smartphones, electric vehicles, uh, large scale energy storage systems, and more. Why does it matter if you ask? India currently imports nearly all of its 15 gigawatt hour lithium ion battery demand, mostly from countries like say China, Japan, Indonesia and others. That import bill, $2.2 billion in financial year 2024 itself, according to the Global Trade Research Initiative. Professor Ranjit Bauri told ET, and we are quoting him, zinc air batteries can play a major role in the global transition towards a sustainable energy due to their numerous advantages. Well, we heard that, but what else makes zinc air batteries so special? It's fire safe. You can operate safely under various conditions, unlike lithium ion. It has higher energy density. It means that they last longer than conventional batteries. It has low manufacturing cost. Zinc is abundant and cheap in India. And of course, a majorly important angle, the import independency. India will now be saved from foreign exchange and build self-reliance. In the same chat with ET, Professor Bowery also said, you cannot use an EV with a lithium ion battery which will run just a few hundred kilometers. So let's talk about the manufacturing edge. Zinc air batteries don't require tightly controlled production environments, making them easier and a lot cheaper to scale. So in the big picture, we have to look at India's zinc air battery ecosystem. And that's why this is not just an IIT Madras story. There's a national zinc air movement building across India. In Noida, there's off-grid energy labs, an IIT Kanpur startup behind Zinc Gel, a modular, recyclable and zinc-based battery for e-mobility and grid storage. It is backed by Shell Ventures aligned with India's ACC PLI scheme. Then there's Hindustan Zinc Limited in Udaipur. It's partnered with IIT Madras in 2024 to develop a 1 kWh zinc air prototype for grid storage, data centers and electric vehicles too. It's also working with JNCASR and AISR technologies. And then of course there's IIT Madras. Under Professor Arvind K. Chandiran, it developed mechanically rechargeable zinc air cells and a battery swapping model for two and three wheelers as well. In Hyderabad, there's ARCI, demonstrated rechargeable 12V zinc air batteries, scaling prototypes with improved life and performance. It focused on smart grid, EVs and portable electronics. Then come CSIR and CNERI in Durgapur. It built cold climate zinc air cells that work in sub-zero temperatures, ideal for soldiers and remote villages as well. And then of course there's IISA in good old Nama Bangalore. It developed a dual function zinc air battery that co-generates hydrogen peroxide during power delivery for remote water purification and green chemistry. Together, all of these efforts are creating a made in India battery ecosystem. One that's safer, cheaper and greener than the lithium ion counterpart. So the bottom line is that zinc air batteries aren't just a lab experiment anymore. They are becoming real thanks to the IITs, startups, PSUs and government labs working together. If India gets it truly right, it won't just reduce imports, it could lead the global battery race with a solution that's not just powerful but truly sustainable, something that the world badly needs in these times. So would you ride an EV powered by zinc? Would you switch if your phone lasted longer and stayed cooler? Tell us in the comments below. And for more Indian tech and AI stories just like these, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.